We have some breaking news. We have a, a sentencing in the Peter, uh, Peter Navarro situation uh, at, at the federal courthouse. Of course, Navarro accused of defying the subpoena of the January 6th Select Committee. Ryan Riley outside the courthouse right now with the news of that sentence. Ryan, what can you tell us? That's right. Peter Navarro was sentenced to four months in prison. Uh, that is just short of what uh, prosecutors were seeking. The mandatory minimum here was one month, so the judge went beyond that. Uh, and Judge Mehta told Navarro that these were, these were circumstances of his own making and that he was not a victim of political persecution here, uh, pointing out the fact uh, that you had the White House chief of staff, Mark Meadows, who actually had his lawyers deal with the committee uh, who was not charged in this case, that there were circumstances that the Justice Department made a decision because Navarro uh, had had just so defied either returning records or uh, return or uh, appearing for testimony uh, during this situation that this was deserving uh, of a four month sentence. The four month sentence matches what Steve Bannon got for the same circumstance, but Steve Bannon has not actually served uh, that four month uh, sentence yet because that is still on appeal. You can expect the same uh, from Navarro here, so not going to be something where he's going to have to instantly uh, report uh, to jail, but that four month sentence is going to be hanging over his head, Ryan.